there is a difference between architecture and, and visual art in the sense that architecture has generally a function. The building, a building is used for something. It's either a residence or an office building or uh, a, a wor place for worship as a church or a temple or a mosque or whatever. But um, it is an interesting question that you ask, especially with Frank Lloyd Wright, because his buildings tend to be very sculptural. Only think of the Guggenheim Museum. It looks like a giant piece of sculpture that you can walk into uh, and, and enjoy art by other artists inside, but it's, it's very sculptural looking. And, and I think it's the same with Falling Water. It is just, um, it's very attractive and it is, it, it, it's sort of one of the, one of the genius sides of, of Frank Lloyd Wright, I think, is that he was able to merge uh, these different types of art, 3D art and, 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 uh, and architecture. And you said earlier you wanted to talk about his personality, and I think it's very much reflected in, in these designs. I don't know what you can see behind me exactly, but you see these, uh, sometimes these interiors where he did not just a, basically the shell of the house, the walls and the ceilings, but he was what, what is called in Germany, he created a Gesamtkunstwerk. I'm Dutch myself, but I speak German. Uh, and that means an, an all around uh, artwork. So he would design the house and the furniture and the uh, carpets, the windows. Most of these designs in the show have stained glass windows. He designed the furniture, tables, chairs, and he very much dictated <laughs> um, yes dictated what he thought people should put in their houses the dining room chairs that you see in the show are very architectural in in design i have to say they look somewhat uncomfortable uh, too the backs aren't always high of, of all of his chairs his office chairs are not because i guess i think from his office chairs he wanted people to cooperate with the people that were sitting behind them and next to them but in with the dining room chairs that were have these tall backs. I think that's the idea, to create sort of an intimate atmosphere around the dining room table. Yeah. He, he was, as some people have described him, as a, as a bit of a dictator. <laughs> and um, it didn't matter really sometimes, like with the Kaufmans, how, how much money they had or, or their wishes even. Because he designed uh, Falling Water, for instance, on the site where they would go diving and jumping into the creek and fishing, and not on the, on the site where their, their old home was. He said, no, if that's your favorite spot, that's where I'm building the house. Full stop. <laughs> At the same time, the, 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 his clients accepted this from him. And I think as a reason, for some reason, he was convincing in, in a matter of a couple of words many times. So, and the result is that there are, uh, throughout the United States, these splendid designs that he thought through so wonderfully and that are now being restored and kept in, in conservation uh, for, for, this, for the centuries to come.